Uh, before I uh, get back to just doing reactions and uh, uh, all that, I thought I'd point this out and uh, put it together. I, I uploaded a couple things. I did them the other, I don't know, three days ago or something. Uh, I watched. Warning! Warning! Alternative thought and an idea portion of the programming. Uh, if simple music reactions is your thing, come back for another one. This probably won't be the one. Uh, now, do I have any shame? No, 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 no. Uh, all stuff I've talked about many times on the channel, uh, they just happen to come together in a couple videos. So we got Tucker and Alex uh, rolling over to the crazy side. Uh, that'll be linked down below. Somewhere in the maybe the comments, I'll put some links to these. Um, I am going to uh, put them together. And uh, <clears throat> when I'm done, uh, you know, here, this moment, uh, we will edit all these things together and, and put them up. We've got... Uh, Dan Vass comments coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to get to some other comments as well today. It, it might not be reactions. It might be uh, reflections on the channel and uh, clearing up some stuff I haven't done in a few days. Uh, there'll be more reactions uh, after that. But uh, that's where I'm at. And um, I don't, I don't want to go too long. I left it all in the reactions. Uh it's uh, going to be a lot of material, so yeah, take your time. Uh, but, yeah, there's, uh, well, here, without further ado, uh, the two things I uh, haven't put out yet. Uh, rolling over to the crazy side, uh, and then some. All opinions are for entertainment purposes only. I am not saying I think everyone should like these guys. I do. But I got a couple minutes into this and I thought, well, the Ducks told me we had to talk about it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I, I'm pretty sure I believe this. Now, uh, take it with a grain of salt. Uh, and it's a very one-sided discussion. So if you're, uh, uh, huh, I'm not trying to drive anyone away. This is the moment. I would say this probably isn't the one. Uh, I, I am probably going to agree a lot here. Um, but the Ducks told me I should share it with you, so I'm going to. So clearly there's a lot more going on than science, as understood in 2024, can explain to us, obviously. And I've always assumed that that, that, that was real because it clearly is real. But I didn't have much of a coherent theology other than, you know, I'm a Christian. I went to sort of a, a church that didn't um, mean it. I didn't quite realize how much. Uh, macaroni Jesuses and sing-alongs, cookies. And uh, so I still have a flavor palette memory. Uh, so that's uh, <clears throat> would be a Hydrox cookie. So it'd be like a knockoff Oreo and Kool-Aid. And if I had, get that combo... I instantly go back to um, Lutheran Bible school and macaroni Jesus indoctrination, which I'm not against. I think it made me a semi-decent person in some ways. It just didn't expose me to natural law and any of the, the uh, cosmic truths that have been co-opted by a control system. Uh, I digress. Church that didn't um, mean it. I didn't quite realize how much they didn't mean it, um, but I'd grown up in this church and gone to its schools, and I was really steeped in the in the culture of the church, and my family was involved in the church going back, you know, a couple hundred years, so it was like it was very much part of, of our family, And um, but I didn't think about it very much, and really it was watching what's happening to the world that changed my view. I became convinced that some of these, I had watched political debates my entire life, that's what I do, for 30, more than 30 years, and while I disagreed with one side, I, I could understand their argument. You know, they would say, well, we need to have, I mean, I've always been totally opposed to ab abortion or killing the defenseless, really killing anybody, honestly, except in self-defense. But, um, but I could understand, you know, well, there's a 15 year old. 
there, there covers my uh, 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 pro adoption stance. So I agree. And then natural law that uh, do no harm is the only rule I have up until you intend to harm me. Then I have a natural right to defend myself. But other than that, it turns out uh, your stuff isn't worth your life. And I can't covet your possessions over your uh, mortal coil, severing the one to take the other. I, I can't do that. I could, but then I'm just a psychopath. I am, I'm, I'm not good. There's no part of my storyline that justifies your shit being mine. Never. A girl who, you know, was pregnant, she got raped, and if you don't let her have an abortion, she'll never have a real life. And, you know, I, I disagreed with that because I think you can't kill people regardless of the justification. However, I thought that was a real argument. I mean, at least it appealed to the possibility her life would be improved. You wake up and all of a sudden people are saying, well, abortion is itself the point. Like having an abortion is just good for the sake of doing it. That's right. And I okay. And then before Alex interjects, uh, I'll interject. <laughs> I saw this part. I, I got at least this far. Uh, it's like body count. And my personal opinion that my um, secret desires are no one's business and who cares what I'm into. I would, I would consider that private but now a uh, body count <laughs> a hack to lady she's going crazy because everyone i guess wants somebody to spit on their crotch um just in case you didn't get what that was all about what technique do you have oh i spit on it we're so fucking classy now because that's there's the viral meme to save the summer so, and then when there are influencers literally, now nah, I don't know if it's a LARP, it's certainly a grift, but on the back of killing a, a life, and, and as much as I, I've been kind of shitting on Tom, and we've been uh, going back and forth with some Tom McDonald talk the last couple of days, and he's made a point, bacteria's life on Mars, but a fetus isn't life on Earth. Fuck off. That's where it gets, it all goes out the window. It's not holy sacrament, and uh, they're going to explain how maybe it is. Proved. You wake up, and all of a sudden people are saying, well, abortion is itself the point. Like, having an abortion is just good for the sake of doing it. That's right, the and women say myself, we well, love it. Not... They say we love it, it's a religion, they're getting off on it. Well, it's human sacrifice. And so, obviously... And if you don't know, there is TikTok influencers who show a baby bump and then brag about dancing and having music. So they're like, ah, I'm taking my kid dancing before I abort it. And they think that's cute. <coughs> but the underrepresented are being genocided constantly, and we better turn our attention to that. This isn't killing. This is something we celebrate. But this group who won't, won't can't, doesn't even, man, I'm not even going to get into it. It's This is very frustrating. That's why the Ducks told me to get on this shit. Because I, uh, I agree with the beginning. There's a nuanced conversation to be had about um, when, where, why, so on. But once again, the blood cult is one of the cults this channel thinks it's going to go after one reaction at a time. Well, that's, that's the people we're here for, the scum. The, and and I, I I believe I lost a job because the only people willing to have the job had to be pro-abortion, pro-this, pro-that, pro-nonstop anal sex, but not anything. Well, it's like what we just heard Disney saying. 
everything's good except a certain demographic. They're problematic. We need to silence and erase them. Uh, Ducks told me I am not willing to be silenced and erased just quite yet. Because and I, So I was trying, because I'm a little bit autistic and very literal, I'm thinking, well, okay, how, what does that even mean? Like, what? You were trying to find this logic. This is very different. I was, and I'm a student of argument because I make arguments for a living. I spent years, you know, sending my kids to school and filling the fridge with arguing. That's what I did for a living. So I really... And uh, the uh, bit will all end up with a clothes hanger in the back alley is not a good argument from the abortionist healthcare side. Why? We know that women did drop their kids off in the dumpster still. They got to put baby boxes in some places. So even when uh, availability and the entire political movement is on their side, some people will just be evil. So you're not going to get forced. You're going to evil people will always do evil things, no matter what the law is. So if you want something and you don't want no one to know, I, I would venture to guess that it, uh, the back alley shit exists all over the place. It's just, they move on. Now I'm not saying good, bad or nothing. I just think it exists. And the argument is shit. Because once again, this argument really covers up a lot of uh, why do a certain uh, a, a cross section of society love death and the destruction of life? What is that? How is that beneficial or sustainable for anybody? And filling the fridge with arguing. That's what I did for a living. So I really am interested in how people construct arguments and in their nature. And all of a sudden, people stop making arguments on behalf of abortion and begin holding it up as just like something that was just good for its own sake. And, and stop. They didn't even attempt to convince you that you weren't taking a human life. The presumption is that you are, of course, and with technology, we know that you are. There's no counter argument to that. And so they're basically saying killing people is a good thing. And I thought, well, that's just a kind of a remarkable thing to say. And then I found out because I was interested that that is what. Because uh, the group there who practice that idolatry, I think, wants to depopulate the entire planet. And I think behind the scenes, they've been in control forever. I think everything else is to control the normies because the normies have too many numbers. So you have to control them all through illusion and deceit. Because the moment you had the masses, because the masses aren't psychopaths. The moment the masses realize what's going on, they are, are not going to put up with it. So as far as I can tell, they've never been allowed to know the truth. Every society has said in recorded history, every society from the ones that you know are very famous, the ancient Canaanites, the Mayans, the Aztecs, all the Mesoamerican civilizations, but also the Western European civilizations, my own, where my ancestors lived, you know, in the Nordic countries, they were also. Yeah, that's why I get down on, uh, I like some of the uh, indigenous tribal metal, but some of the European tribal uh, uh, music uh, invokes such dark imagery that I'm like, wait. I secretly want to kill off some of your warriors. Ah, you co-opt them to protect your village, but when they get too strong, you don't want them to turn into regional warlords, so you send them off on the suicide mission so they die. And then, then beyond that, I just I think you know they, I think there was lots of kids, lots of uh, uh, specimens of life that were considered inadequate because of uh, societal norms and then just um, done in. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And that's, I think, reflect, reflected in a lot of the dark undertones and imagery laden in those that say songs. Uh, I do. So that's why I stay away from it. Because uh, once again, I, don't, I won't have to name names. I'm not putting nothing on a pedestal. I'm thinking positive and negative energies. And this is definitely a discussion of the channeling of the negative energies on this planet to a point that there is no longer balance and negativity and darkness is winning. Knights, the Mayans, the Aztecs, all the Mesoamerican civilizations, but also the Western European civilizations, my own, where my ancestors lived, you know, in the Nordic countries. They were also, 
committing human sacrifice. There's something about killing other people ritually as an offering to the spirit world that is a constant through human history. Every civilization has done that. And so that raises the question, why? How would, like, that's such a counterintuitive conclusion to come to. I kill people, like, so evolutionary biology tells us that the whole point of existence is to continue existence, is to pass on your genes to another generation, and then many more, right? That, that's the assumption that I had my whole life. And yet every civilization from the beginning of time has reached the opposite conclusion. No, I disagree. I would argue that what, what every civilization had got to a point of growth, that it had to control its own population. And then there's two ways. And they choose this one, always. They choose the quick power, the power and control of the negative forces. That I do believe. Said conclusion. We will be happier by killing the fruit of our womb, children, and we will be rewarded by the gods for doing this. Every single civilization has reached that conclusion without any exception that I'm aware of. And you have to ask, why is that? They didn't have the internet 5,000 years ago. How are they all reaching the same conclusion? And really the only logical answer is because some outside force was telling them that, right? That the spirit world is real. Now, I didn't get this far and I'm gonna say, whoa, all opinions for entertainment purposes only. And um, I'm, not, I, I'm not a firm believer in uh, uh, demonic forces, I, but I do believe an actual temptation uh, can be broke down to that energies. You are, you're, I fail all the time. I better say that up front. I'm giving a choice. Which direction, which energy, which vibrations do I want to freak, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, go with. And um, so I believe personally it's like a, a cosmic math equation and tapping into currents and frequencies with uh, temptation on both sides or variables to the equation always uh, there to influence the outcome. Ooh, yeah. Because I'm trying to stick really in my life, I'm trying to narrow it down to my the, my, the natural law beliefs of it all. And how can I grasp so many bad ideas existing, coexisting with good ideas and uh, the bad ideas uh, gaining power daily. It's very interesting. But this is, uh, do I think there's something greater than the physical and the mathematically quantifiable? Yeah, I do. But it's not for my place to say it's real or not. Right, that the spirit world is real and that there are demons telling people that you will be happier that you will be safer, that you will be richer, you'll be more powerful if you take the life of a child. At Real Alex Jones on X. Oh. Is that, uh, all right. Okay. I'm not. Bless his. Uh, wait. Oh! And the end of the world is coming, and you've got to have survival food. And if you don't have survival food, you have got to get an energy booster. Get it now! And get to your bunker! Uh, the ducks told me that uh, uh, it turns out I have to be half drunk and shirtless for that to really work. Uh, now, uh, it ended, uh, yeah, uh, good for Alex. Uh, still trying to get some. I, I actually agree with 99% of that until the end, and mostly the... Um, the hard sell. Uh, but I think he got railroaded. So at the same time, I, I don't not, I support Alex Jones. I do. I, I definitely think he got screwed in a way that, um, let's say child traffickers don't get screwed. And, and oddly enough, we know that's not just shit talk no more, right? There is some problems and, uh, well, <laughs> I'm certainly glad the ducks wanted us to do this one. Uh, here we are, there we are, and uh, there it's done. Uh, Tucker, uh, on some subjects that I do really believe with, 
And I do believe the blood sacrifice. I say it enough. So when I heard him talking about it, I said, ow, we got to do this. Um, I'll figure out where to put it so it doesn't offend everybody. Later. All right, I had to just push record. I don't have the light on. I was going to be done. I'm like, hey, I got an hour before work. <sighs> wow, we might be hitting some of the stuff that I guess <clears throat> the ducks are hoping for. Uh, I guess the reason they've strapped on the hat for all those years is that uh, they say in reactions, I reference uh, uh, Thomas Sowell. So, so uh, shit with names, good with uh, uh, details. And that would be on the actual um, topic of uh, human bondage. Okay. Now, uh, you don't have to like any of these people because here we got Ashley St. St. Clair is who's uh, putting it up. Uh, Elon Musk from an hour ago replying to another channel uh, and slavery is still active in many parts of the world. And this was, well, this is my final wrap up on the Tom McDonald versus Mac Lethal. And this is why Mac Lethal's language is a load of garbage. Because it 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 literally goes with a left leaning destruction of the West talking points, and then attributes it to Tom and his fans. Where I would venture to guess that what we're going to listen to now, and this appears to be a board on, uh, you know, the West should pay reparations for slavery. I believe this is uh, the the part of the whole presentation they they never uh count on and i, I think we're going to listen to this uh individual spit some facts here for a second and this would be the same position i go with i don't i don't believe in the revenge narrative it's ridiculous there are problems today still going on and i believe i'm just a big dummy but i can uh, uh articulate the uh visa and document stealing process to get workers trapped into a construction business where then they're indebted to the company store so bad that they basically work to keep paying off their tab. And, and, and then if their living arrangements and work conditions are garbage where uh, workers are being killed all the time or maimed or hurt, well then that, that is this same subject in a, a, you know, semantically rearranged for the, the year and dime and date. But it's still slavery. It's human bondage. And until we're free and the natural law of uh, that we are granted um, as a birthright for life in the universe is understood, well, then nobody is. But revenge for... Uh, uh, destroy the West. Uh-uh. No, no, no. That time is... We're, we're going to see an end to that, those ideas. I wonder why. The first point is that everyone had slaves, okay? People of all colors became slaves for economic reasons, because of war, because slavery, as odious as it was, was simply a normal way of life. Arabs were extracting millions of black Afri African slaves centuries before Christian nations did for about 13 centuries, compared to the three centuries European nations ran the Atlantic slave trade. Arabs marched African slaves across the Sahara Desert, and as such, they died more often. It was customary to castrate them, and many died from this practice. The Arabs also enslaved over one million white European Christians. The term slavery, in fact, comes from the word Slav. The Slavs inhabited Eastern Europe and were taken by the Muslims of Spain in the, 19th, in the 9th century. Not to mention that Africans had been enslaving each other for thousands of years. The point is that slavery, the, the second point is that slavery was not about race, and that's important. It was not about race. The only reason we think it's... Wait, power and control? ...thousands of years. The point is that slavery 
the, the second point is that slavery was not about race, and that's important. It was not about race. The only reason we think it's about race is because philosophers like David Hume in the 18th century ranked human beings and put Africans at the bottom, saying that they had no souls. The Enlightenment imposed the... Now, one of the things I had to do to free up my honey from being trapped by a Western framework was, like I said, you know, we talk about ideas in our house all the time, but you realize that two-thirds of the planet don't prescribe to those ideas, and you wouldn't condemn, let's say, a mountain people of, uh, the, you know, the Pacific ring, ring of Fire who are living in their village, raising their kids and trying to grow crops. Do you, you think they're condemned? And you'll, you'll know, of course not. They're just the same, uh, just geographically different location with some different beliefs, but their lives would uh, uh, mirror each other very well outside of technology and location. And, uh, and we, it took a while until we realized, and it was me too, that to uh, prescribe any of the control features of a certain system on the entire planet all at once is a stupid fucking idea because they just don't work. Because the core natural law flowing through all of us is the same. But the control systems have been so different, varied, and uh, the longevity of those is, is, I can't even pretend. I, I'm i thinking about the blood sacrifice of uh, Western culture and can't imagine how that worked everywhere else. I mean, I'm just finally coming to grasp that uh, certain deities in certain parts of the world can be good and bad. And you could be sacrificing to them one minute and receiving blessings and protection the next. <sighs> Complicated how all the pantheons of a belief, you know, of God's uh, functioned. But in the end, reverberated with uh, simple human psychology and sociology and, and the natural law connection of things that will either nurture and grow or uh, wither and destroy. And, and, and uh, Passio, who I reference all the time, uh, I was on this years and years, a decade ago. That's part of it because the whole process of uh, un, uh, mystify, demystifying the occult would be to um, show how it's, you know, control systems and slavery, human control is the ultimate power wielded on the planet. Not cities are a natural byproduct of uh, growth. Cities are a natural byproduct of the control system. Uh, it, I think they start out and then flip, but that's a whole nother thing. But uh, yeah. Africans at the bottom saying that they had no souls. The Enlightenment imposed the concept of race on a practice that had been going on for centuries in order to justify that practice. And why did they have to justify it? And this is the point. Because I think evil started winning. In order to justify that practice. And why did they have to justify it? And this is the point. Because people in the West began to question slavery's moral validity. The fact is that people of all colors own slaves, both as part of the Atlantic slave trade and out. Oof, now this is gonna hit hard if, uh, you've, you know, if you're following along at this level, like for a Marty or others. Uh, this is why I constantly reference the uh, New World Order book, and I don't remember the name of it, but where um, the Asian uh, cultures had been picked according to Western leadership, to inherit it all. It's, we're, we're at the core of the problem right now. Because we, we, if left alone on that mountain village with our oxen cart and our rice paddies and our fields and our, our terrace, till, uh, terrace tills, we will live within the natural law boundaries. I mean, uh, and with the tribute probably being just taken from us. Hopefully staying out of its way, I think. Uh, I think other parts of the world, <clears throat> as we're going to hear here now, I think, because I haven't listened to this yet, um, said no. 
Turns out I'm actually qualified enough to defend myself and ideas. And I, I think those ideas are super fucking bad. Because people in the West began to question slavery's moral validity. The fact is that people of all colors own slaves, both as part of the Atlantic slave trade and outside of it. In the United States and Caribbean, black people, black people owned thousands of black slaves, and so did the Native Americans. Nearly 20,000 of the Native American five civilized tribes sided with the Confederacy during the Civil War, fighting to keep slavery alive. 28% of the black population who were- Whoa! Now I would just say that, I don't think you get to hear that as a counter argument in a liberal uh, college course. And this is why it failed for me. Because the administration was more concerned with putting women of color into class seats. Good for them. Don't have nothing against it. But their uh, entire curriculum was based on a revisionist narrative that all indigenous people were peaceful for the most part. For real. It, it focused on the huge... Uh, 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 archaeological find that the huge, is that down by St. Louis maybe or something like that, but the huge, huge city. And uh, it was very good. It was good courses, but there was no counter arguments once. The only time there was a beneficial section was where the book mistakenly taught a subsection on critical thinking. It just never gave us arguments to critically think about. But it opened up uh, the simple truth that until both sides are examined full force, you don't really have a discussion. You just have talking points. During the Civil War, fighting to keep slavery alive, 28% of the black population who were free in New Orleans pledged their support to the Confederacy. All of the 13 southern states of the Confederacy had substantial numbers of black slave owners. There were more than 250,000 free blacks and nearly 4,000 of them were slave masters who owned more than 20,000 slaves. The practice of slavery was legal after all. We need to remember that governments did not own slaves. Now there's where here, it, for me, it breaks down to when I'm talking about the revenge narrative. Because instead of having the discussion on both sides and going, man, did that period of society and history suck. Thank God we moved on from that, eh? Hey, what are they doing about it today somewhere else? Oh, no. They want a revenge. I don't go for that idea. Legal, after all. We need to remember that governments did not own slaves. Slave owners did. In fact, the U.S. government fought a war to end slavery. How much should the descendants of the 400,000 Union soldiers who lost their lives fighting to free the slaves pay to the descendants of the slaves they freed? Giving people lump sums of money does not work. Economists often point... I just talked to my coworker about this, talking about, uh, you know, he's got a few bets on Bitcoin and some other stuff that he really wants to see come in. And I told, you know, I said, here, I'm going to give you the best advice I think I've ever given you. <clears throat> this is entertainment. It is not financial advice. But all records show that people given huge, large sums of money who didn't have large sums of money to begin with do not know how to manage large sums of money and they fail. There is the small percentage group who doesn't. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the majority numbers. Lottery is the best example. Turns out uh, lottery winnings don't usually make people's lives better. They just give them more money to waste, like just like they were wasting before they won the lottery. So I told Lauren, you win, you go big. What you first thing you do is you, find, you hire a person. You don't bitch about how much it costs, someone you trust, believe in, and you hire someone who knows more about it all, and you put them in charge. And then when they tell you how it's going to work, you say, yep, cool, I'll go with that. And then that, I'll tell you this, that is that is the shortest version of Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad course that I could give you. Bet on evil. Let someone who knows how to manage it better than you manage it. Uh, I could personally attest to the fact that if I put someone smarter in control and they just told me what to say, this channel could do a lot. <laughs> I don't have to speak for my, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, you know what is stream of consciousness ramblings. I, I we could control it. 
I, uh, my honey just learned all about Mr. Ballin and, uh, Oh yeah, no, that's like, it's like an acting gig. I wanted to make movies at one point. So I do see where the crossover is, but wouldn't I be a hypocrite if I took that? So now we're just going to be what we are. And the ducks told me this was super fucking important too. And boy, this and the Tucker one we just did. Well, this was better than just scrolling through X. This was getting some of our own content and discussion out of it. And what a shame on history some of our periods were. But we could do better. Giving people lump sums of money does not work. Economists often point to the Georgia Land Lottery of 1832, in which parcels of land were distributed randomly. What happened to the descendants of those who were lucky enough to be given this land? Are they the richest families in Georgia? No. In fact, within one generation after the distribution of the Georgia land, one could not distinguish between those who had been given land and those who hadn't. Holy shit! And here's the example of something that the left hates. <coughs> the westward expansion, the idea. But there it is. You just got to hurt it. You might not realize it, but what she's saying is it turns out the person willing to pack it all into a cart risk their very life to stake a claim in something has a chance of growing into something better. Their drive exists. When I give it to you, well, you, you didn't have it to begin with. You probably didn't want it. So how do you manage it if you didn't really want it? Because falling ass backwards into stuff doesn't help us. It doesn't serve us at all. I, I had him change the young man's hours at work. Tonight he can come in from six, uh, yes, not five to eight, but uh, six to nine. And actually there'll be three, it'll be hours of work. I'll work them the whole time. Because if you're going to get a paycheck, you got to earn it. You don't just show up, you get free money because you want something. Now, I have nothing but respect for the young man. But I'll be damned if that's real. I'm not the first person someone's going to work with and then they're going to take a free ride because they want tickets to a show. Then go, go mow lawns. Go deliver papers. I don't know. But you don't get to stand around because nothing's, nothing free is worth anything. And, and those who hadn't. Certainly my own direct experiences of working for 20 plus years in the inner city with families on welfare demonstrates this time and time again. Rather than give a man a fish, it is always better to teach him how to fish. All giving the fish does is make the giver feel better. Reparations might relieve white people of their guilt, but it will do little else. So back to my initial question. Why are we only discussing whether the West should pay reparations for slavery? Because while slavery was common to all civilizations, only one civilization developed a moral revulsion against it, very late in its history, Western civilization. Not even the leading moralists in other civilizations rejected slavery at all. Rather than be ashamed as Westerners, we should stand proud for having led the world out of a mentality where slavery was the norm, and we should vote against this motion. Thank you. Day, now, 100%. Amazing. Because the problem is we have problems today. And a lot of the movements getting all the attention and focus right now, well, they want to destroy. I want to create, build, not destroy. And that's why I came. That's why I saw. That's what the ducks told me to do. Whew, that was heavy. Later.